Yank him again. There you go. That's a good one. Oh, it's a big one, buddy. Just a giant, buddy. Welcome back to the adventure wagon hooked up to the silver bullet right now. We're going on a bass fishing adventure, y'all. We're about 30 minutes away from a little private lake that my best friend Craig wanted to go to with me. He's been telling me about this spot and he said, man, I've been out there a couple times. Haven't really caught them. It's deep though. It's like a quarry. You think you can bring your bass boat out there to catch them? I was like, yeah, dude, we can go do that. But it is nasty rainy conditions today it is going to be a drizzly episode y'all but i think we're going to catch a big bass today uh buckies i'll be honest with you that house blend could use an upgrade hey buddy hey drop you good deuce in there got a pretty good one in there yeah all right you feel good it's always tough when uh, you see a big old boy come out of the only free stall, you know, and you're like, all right. Only free stall? Got to go follow up this guy. At Bucky's? Seriously? Warm toilet seat. Wow. Got that fresh smell of big dude dump in there. Dang, bro. I've never Dude's seen that. Do. Never seen that at Bucky's. How's that burrito? Phenomenal. Rock and roll. Let's go smash some giants. All right, you heard the man. Craig's pumped. Let's go get some big green ones on the line, y'all. That's my best friend, Craig. What's up, buddy? From Bumbler of a day. But I'm telling you, these, this is the kind of days where the biggins eat. It's like the trolls come out of their cave and they start to feed. So. Got a box full of frogs. Got a lot of grass edges here. And I've got uh, a couple new topwaters to show you guys. Fall, a frog bite gets really good if you got grass. Um, but if you don't have grass, you have more open, clear water, a topwater walking style bait, like the old spook style baits. That they just bring them up. We're gonna have some lightning, bad conditions. We only have about a three hour window to really fish. So it's gonna be fast and furious, I hope. Yeah. Woo. New bait. Also, wake banger, guys. Waking. Woo. I'm hoping to be quaking on awaking. A little bone color. It's going to be a tasty one there. Do a little field test cast here. That's going to get crushed. Shallow grass killer right there. Look at these rock piles, my right? gosh, bro. Well, let's let's get in the grass. We can mess around with this if, if we don't catch anything there. I just feel like today's the day where they're gonna. You think so? Oh yeah, they're yeah, gonna, your lead. Good place for them to hunt, you know. It gives a spot of shad to hide, but they can kind of weave in and out. Sunny. You know? Oh, there's one. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Nice one. Decent. Wake banger. First one of the day. Love to see it. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Fate. Oh, that fish feels like moderately chilled. That's yeah. nice. Water 66, bro. What? Yeah. Let's freaking go. Oh, yeah, the pond weed's right on the edge there. That's Frog City, dude. Yeah. So I swirly back in there, behind the grass. Yeah, that guy's, he's deep in there. Oh, explosion. Oh, get it, that's a good one, Craig. Oh, around the pole. 
That was a good one. I yeah. saw its back. It was like five. Yeah, dude. They're, they're, they're you got to you got to get a frog on there, buddy. You gonna bring that diesel heat on him? Got to put on a filthy. Yeah. Come on, baby. Love to see it. You got him. You got him. You got a clearing. You got a clearing, buddy. You got it. All you. There you go. There's a tasty one. Yeah. There's the old grass dweller. Go, baby. Nice. That fish Skin. was hungry. Skin. Well, look at this. I, when I saw the big mouth, I was like, okay. This has got to oh, be. Oh, definitely had a five pounder mouth. Yeah. Five pounder mouth with a one pounder body. He, he needs to get on that tilapia schools. Hey, ASAP. go find you some bait fish, big boy. Stay out here. That might help you. Oh, yeah. Captain Ahad breeding in the whales, baby. I'll probably flip this, huh? 40 pounds? That's not big. Oh, yeah. Got him. Swallowed it, though. Look at that. Absolutely crushed it. Hey, nicely done. Down his mouth. That wind was just cut down about 10 miles an hour. Oh, yep. oh God. I saw its back. That looked like a nice one. Yeah, it was a, I kind of like surprised it. Oh, God. Buddy. He had it that Buddy. time. You didn't feel him, did you? No, get in there. No, that's yours. Get him. Unless you really want me to. I really want you to, because I'm sure. tangled. No. You want See, there's no one. way I can get a fish right now. <laughs> <laughs> Caught myself. Absolute Guggen move. Yeah, that little popping drop. Those, those little ones get in between those pads better, I think. Gives them more of a target. This stuff right here, though, just... Good. You got 20 mile an hour winds. You feel like a big frog. Oh, I got one behind it. You see him wake it? Yep. Just tucked it. You see him? Yep. What is that? You call that a topwater bite? Like that is <laughs> pathetic, pussy. bro. That's probably eight pounder too. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just. Well, that's what I mean by small one. They don't want to learn. That little skinny one back in the woods that murdered it. Right now. I trimmed my tail, so I gave it a haircut. You showed yourself. I don't see any big ones. These look like two pounders. Oh, they're following my spoon. They're on it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You got it. A little one. <laughs> There's like seven under the boat right now. Yeah, oh yes sir. Oh. Yes sir, that's a toad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come here, baby. Get him, bud. Get him out of that grass. He's in something bad. Get him out of that it's not grass. good. Get him out. It's more than grass. Oh no, get him out. It's a log or something. No, you got him. It's grass. Is he on? Oh, oh. probably not. Look at that. That's a... <sighs> I lost him. No. That was a big one, dude. That was a good one. Golly. That was a good one. I did not. I just didn't get the penetration, bro. Wasn't using the right, right rod today. Who's pocket about to hit? You are in the juice, son. The juice. All right, guys, just lost my biggest fish of the day. So uh, when I was leaving this morning, I was like, I was looking at a rod. There was a Muscle XL rod sitting in, in my, uh, my office, and I was like, should I grab this? Maybe Craig needs one, maybe throw some swim baits or something like that. And I thought I had a lot of mussels in my box. I have none. I don't know where they went. Uh, maybe last Guggen week something happened. I don't know but I don't have them in there. So throwing a go-to, 
with a 40 pound braid, it's not the correct setup for the giants up in the shallow grass, but we've had enough bites where it's fun to keep going at it. We've also got this deep bite going on. First thing when we got out here, idled over just out in the middle and there's like a big rock pile, lots of stuff going on down there. It's shad or out deep. It looks like a fall, like a typical fall situation. You know, this little lake's like 40 foot deep, surprisingly. We're going to continue doing this hit the bank, hit the spots we haven't hit yet. It seems like they want the frog paused. They're not doing, yeah, I saw see that? that. I saw that. They're not doing what I was expecting them to and just hammering it with these conditions, having to pause it. And it's, uh, it's not explosive like I was expecting. So having to do some finagling, but we've got a lot of open water fish to be had as well. Top water's a little tough with the wind. So I'm thinking, Spoons, swim baits, maybe some worms even out deep. I just haven't seen any big fish on bait yet. I've seen small fish, caught some small fish, but uh, right now all the big ones have been shallow grass. But I know somewhere out here there's going to be a school of heads that are a little bit deeper and uh, we just got to find it. So we'll keep frogging for now. I mean, it's not a bad time. Frogging's not a bad time. I'll throw it all day. All right, my bestie has got a feeling about a little smaller action. And he also said popping. And I said, buddy, I got you. Mini popping filthy right here. Now this one's got a white belly. You're feeling that? Yeah, because this one's white. That one, dude, that the... size is fantastic. Though. Yeah, I think that's a little thinner profile. Got a and little popping action. Smaller. Yeah, it's thinner though. Flipping, buddy. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's a good one. <laughs> there she is. On the old filthy there pop. There she is, dude. There she is. Stuck with the frog, baby. Woo! On the edge? Yeah, on the edge. Came out. That's a nice one. Love to see. Nice one right there. there. On the filthy? On the filthy, baby. Right on the edge there. Just 15 feet out in front of us. There was like a group of five that were out in front of the brush. Oh, he, he's got it. Oh, little guy. See, this is what you mean. This is how you find them. Otherwise, there's no way you find them. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no way you see the grass. This, there's a couple sticks. There's a lay down. Whopper plopper in this kind of calm stuff. What do you think? A little too choppy though, right? There he is. Oh, good one. Need help? I got it. Get him. Get him, son. There's that one you're waiting for. Good call switching the worm. Blazing. There he is. Blazing worm, baby. Fish just sucked it in. Man, he's skinny too, dude. Skinny, but he wanted it. Yes, sir. This is a very similar condition to where I caught that other. textbook should be no problem. Should be a fish. Point. Close to the edge. Catcher set up his head and hit it. Step to the edge. Oh my gosh. Get him, Craig. Yank him again. There you go. That's a good one. Oh, it's a big one, buddy. Just a giant buddy. Oh I think he's got it. I think oh he's got my it. God. Hang on, hang on. 
Just. Hit that spot lock real quick. Look at that filthy in there! <laughs> you called it. What I tell you? What I, I said? You want this for the filthy reel? <laughs> oh my gosh! There was no, uh, that fish was not coming off, dude. <laughs> I didn't get a hook set. I didn't think I, I had a good hook set. You slammed him, dude. <laughs> Look at this fish, bud. How oh, big is this? Take that. You call it? Well, I mean, he's, he's skinny. But yeah, but we'll put him on the scale. Six pounds. Six pounds. My boy coming out of the bullpen, throwing some heat right on the point. You nailed it, bro. We Perfect knew it. Casts. Awesome fish. That is what I expected today. A an explosion. Explosion. Aspl absolute explosion. Get dude. the fist in there, no problem. That's a fister. All right, let's, <laughs> let's get that nice slow swim off right, at least. you ready? Let's see what it, see what it does. Beautiful, beautifully done. An artist. Put that on the uh, the filthy frog reel right there. Craig was right. He was like, man, I think I, I think they're feeling a little bit smaller. Maybe you want that little pop. I said, dude, got just the bait for you. I'm gonna go over this side and see what's out here. Oh my God! It ate it like almost at the boat. You going pretty fast? Yeah, I really need to make another cast. That's a big one. <laughs> Grabbed it. Did you see that fish grab it? No, he got it. Look at it. Look at that. There's a couple of them. Oh my gosh. What are they doing? Oh, let it fall. Let it fall. They're coming up. They're coming up. They're getting excited. Dude, there's so many fish down there. Yeah, there's, they're just like glued on the bottom. God, you see my round trap at all? That guy freaking chased it, almost ate it. Oh, here he comes. He got it. Be a good one. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> you worked hard for that one. Dude, but you know what? There is an eight there. There was a big one. I There's think. an eight. Look, there. he's got mud on his belly. Yeah, That's they're at the tell. bottom. They're at the bottom. Oh my gosh! Dang, that was crazy. I've never seen a man work so hard. Should absolutely slurp this freaking spoon. That might turn him on, huh? Get the two pounders activated. Maybe get Mama involved. Can you tell me if you see my worm? Call it out if you see it. A lot of times you'll see him like come up for it and turn away. Oh, there's another one coming. He's excited. He got it. This one's better. Yeah. Definitely not a two. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Be a good one. Be a good one for a little racket pack right here. Boogan spoon. Sure did. Deep rock piler. Yeah, I saw where he cast it. You got a lightweight on that, right? Where's the tungsten? I saw where he cast it. Do you see my worm? That's like a 316th. You need you a big honker on there. See my worm? <laughs> Dude, no. <laughs> That's down definitely there. not a three eighths. It's down there. They kind of like that little little pop up and down. Let it get, let it go all the way to the bottom and then give it some pops. Oh, I see. This is this is neat. You see, <laughs> see how you get addicted? This is neat. Yeah, video games. 
I'm like right here coming up on an old big boy. Oh, there goes your worm. You're right on him too, you son of a Here's that 14. He's got a choice to make now. Which one do I want? I want the old crusty ass spoon. Red or blue? Are you throwing a spoon? Oh my gosh. Just kidding. Do you think I had him? No. Oh yeah. Oh. Got him? Yep. Saw him eat it. Oh, there's oh. a better one. Hey. <laughs> Where's my worm? A fish has it. It's like a five pounder. Is that a, is that a June bug Mondo worm? Yeah. You son of a dick. That's the one you reckon you said was a big one down there? It probably was, yeah. I told you daddy was going to kill it. <laughs> daddy had to show you where it was. That's a healthy one, dude. Has he got mud on his belly or no? No, but Looks that's clean. A, that's what we want right that's there. That's a healthy a school of those babies. Look at that. Sorry about that. I love to see it. So that fish was actually not on the screen when you cast it. It came, oh. it came from back here. I saw it come in, uh, it came in late to the game. That's you got your what, notepad and pencil out? I, I was taking notes, I was taking notes. Can you get the big camera? Nah. Nice one though, Such huh? a good hit, yeah. Is it running to hit the water? No sir. Good fight? Good fight. Oh yeah, dude. Just weighed one, four pounds, six ounces. Rain coming in hot, double up of the day. Boom. Let's go, buddy. That's fun. That's fun, we gotta get a good. I just said I gotta throw on a spinnerbait. I gotta buy something to have with my GoPro. We gotta get a good double up. Let's get a double up pick, man. Let's do it. I'll put a little timer on the cam, we'll set it right here. Yours was four six? Four six, yeah. Let's let him go. All right, ready? Just like the old times. See you, dudes. <laughs> Dude, I feel that cold air. Oh, I know. Hey, look at the sky. I mean, we're about to get hammered, I think. We are. Better get moving, actually. This is not a great film day. I apologize, but it is a fun, fun fishing day. I know when my back deck chime is, is dinging. When it's making noise, it is really blowing outside. My gosh, what a front that came in. We got absolutely poured on after that double. It was a great way to end the day, but man, it was some nasty weather. And because that weather was coming in, I thought we were going to crush fish on top water. I really wanted to throw our two newer top water baits that are coming, that wake banger and our walking bait, yet to be named, and uh, it was just it was just different than what i thought it was going to be it ended up being an okay frog bite some fish on the edges of the grass which there's always fish that live in the grass when you have a, a decent grass lake uh, but it was unfortunate that uh, the fish were just kind of roaming and scattered still an awesome day with craig hadn't fished with my best buddy in a long time and uh he caught a sick good lord colonel i mean Every time I start talking out here, he goes crazy. Another bait that I really thought I was gonna smash him on too was throwing the swim bait. And I saw one of the bass spit up like tiny shad and then I saw the schools of shad in there and it just, you know, I just clicked with me. I was like, ah, they're just not gonna hit that. The spoon was decent, you know, typical fall thing, but without them being really positioned on that offshore cover, it just wasn't the program, it was kinda, here and there, but I'm glad we got enough time to uh, to hit those grass lines and get some great bites. And uh, I think we had four, five, four pounders, and Craig had that one six pounder. So awesome day, awesome day. I wish we would have had more more time without the rain coming in, but still really fun. And as this weather starts to get colder and colder in the fall, you're gonna see those shad balls start grouping up more and more and getting those creek channels 
and you can really catch a lot of fish at one time when you get the right conditions. When you get a good school of fish and they're all balled up, it's, it's one of my favorite times to fish. It's always a toss up because it's like, oh my gosh, I want to be in the deer woods today, but it's going to be a good bass fishing day and you kind of have to pick and choose, but it's an awesome time to be an outdoorsman. So. Hope you're out there in the great outdoors, hunting or fishing. I'm gonna be back in the deer woods very soon. I really wanna get a deer out of a saddle. That's been one of my archery goals, secondary archery goals after the trad, trad bow this year. So we're gonna go after that. And uh, I have yet to get a pig close range. So anyway, you guys stay tuned for all of that and I will see you on the next one.